Ogale graduated just the same year with me. Ogale is the MD of a bank now. I am still the MD of an empty house. I passed by Chibuzo's house. He has married. He has two children now. And that's for women. My age mates are married. Me too, I must marry. You go and marry Satan's junior brother. The day you arrive, one eye has grown big. Because you have to marry. Who told you you must marry? Who told you? Paul didn't marry. And he said a crown is laid up in heaven. Who told you you are growing old? Who is talking to you? Who are you listening to? Look at yourself in Christ. Don't be desperate for marriage. Don't be. Wait on the Lord. Wait on the Lord. Wait patiently. And while you are waiting, get busy with soul winning. Get busy with impact. When you are busy, you won't remember time. It's idleness that makes you count your age. Who said you will marry at 25? Who said so? Who said so? Where is it in the Bible? There are people who got married at 50 and they have joy. There are people that married at 23 and they have divorced three times. Wait. Don't let African mentality destroy your covenant sense. I was telling mama yesterday that I even saw a place in the Bible where a lady is free to approach a man. Why are you looking at me? If you like a brother, walk to him and say, I want to marry you. She shall be wasting time. <laughs> you can approach a man. Come brother. It's like you are not seeing. Look again. God is a good God. I think we can make a home together. Receive your sight. <laughs> Glory! Stand fast in the liberty wherewith Christ has set you free and be not entangled again. Taste not, touch not, do not. Be not entangled with those things. Do not be entangled with those things. There are some brothers until a sister look at them and breathe on them. <laughs> Receive your sight. They will not marry till they die. There are things you shouldn't worry yourself about. Touch your neighbor. Say, don't worry yourself about material things. Set your gaze on Christ. You will be sorry you worry at all tomorrow morning. Cheer up your sense of God. There's nothing to worry about. Nothing to make you feel afraid. Nothing to make you doubt. Remember God has never failed. So why not trust him and say, You will be sorry you worry at all tomorrow morning. Hang it there. Give me the scripture. Having food and raiment, let us there with be content. Let's be content. Once you have food to eat and clothes to wear, be happy. Be happy. Take it one day at a time. 